and uh, I forgot to mention this is actually for pure water so that's what it is therefore for a solution to be acidic the concentration of hydrogen or hydronium ion needs to be greater than the concentration of hydroxide ion and for a solution to be basic the concentration of hydroxide ion needs to be greater than the concentration of hydronium ion and if it needs to be neutral or which is water it will be the best way it will be equal so hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. hey are you ready for my tutorial i don't know if you are but it's a math and sciences and now i'm going to be explaining the concept of pH. What is pH? So pH is actually an other way to express the concentration of um, hydro hydrogen in an acid. It's actually to measure the acidity of a compound of, or of a solution of an acid of a substance. Well, so instead of using the molarity, which is your typical um, way to measure the concentration, we use pH so that's just another way for it and why is P is in small letter and H big letter what does that mean actually this P represent the power of hydrogen so hydrogen the power of hydrogen what is the power of hydrogen what is the concentration of hydrogen so that is what it actually means and I'm gonna explain the concept so you actually understand what pH is and stuff like that. But how do we find it? What is the formula for it? So that's what I'm gonna be um, explaining now. So the formula of pH is actually minus log base of 10 by the way I just don't um, it's it's here it's just not visible minus log of the concentration of hydrogen ion or it's the same as negative log of the concentration of hydronium ion so excuse me drop my marker so both this these are the same so whether it's hydronium ion whether it's hydrogen ion it's the same thing so but how do we find it or how do we demonstrate it so remember um, in the last video that I covered the acid and base property of water I told you that at room temperature um, water has a, a has a concentration the concentration of hydrogen was equal to one times ten to negative seven so that is the same value we're gonna be using to actually measure the pH so as I say pH of water is actually negative log oh, sorry of one times ten to negative seven. How do you solve this? This is actually basic algebra. We're gonna be using, and remember, there is ten here. I just don't put it. it, it you don't have to put it because it's the same base. Therefore, there's no use of it. But anyway, <laughs> I just put it for the explanation of this video. So actually. How do you solve that? What is this equal to? The negative log of 1 times 10 to negative 7. And remember that um, when you have a logarithmic function, let's say y is equal to log um, b, which is the base of x. This is actually the same as when you say that z to the y is equal to x. So in this case, we don't have y, but we have b and x. What 
what is B in this case? B is 10. And what is X in this case? The, the, the whole thing, 1 times 10 to negative 7. And when you're doing um, the logarithmic of an, of, something that ha uh, of an expression that have an exponent, the law is actually to put the exponent in multiplying the whole expression. So what this going to become is actually minus 7 here times minus log, I always forget the O, minus log, okay, here, bracket, minus log of 1 times 10 to negative 7, I mean, not negative 7, we got rid of that, minus log of 1 times 10. And remember, this is the base, so if we were to put this in this expression, to figure out what y is, so it will be 10 equal to 10. Therefore, the exponent is actually 1. Therefore, this whole thing here is actually negative 1. Therefore, negative 1 times negative 7 is equal to 7. So that's what the pH of water is. That's an example um, as I, you know. And I'm going to use more example for you to actually understand how to perform the calculation.